Captain! You've played it. Yeah! You've watched it. Hell yeah! Now, live it. I will do that! Mortal Kombat, the live tour. Oh, I am so ready for this. Live tour me up, Sub-Zero. Uh, okay. Ha! 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 Oh! 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 Ow! 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 Oh my back! Oh. <laughs> wow, what a disappointment. Ow. Which is something you can get ready to say a lot when you watch Mortal Kombat! The journey begins! Unless the absolute worst of 2D and 3D animation combined excites you, and believe me, it does excite me! This is gonna be great! So what's one of the best ways to get people hyped for your film? What's that? Release an animated short on VHS and Laserdisc that's amazingly lazy and supposed to lean your film but doesn't at all? Why, that's brilliant! And that's exactly what Mortal Kombat The Journey Begins is. There are no arms. <laughs> Only single warriors fighting face to face. The fate of the realm of the Earth hangs in the balance for five centuries. <laughs> Outworld has won every tournament. They must not win the 10th tournament. See, I wasn't lying. The very worst of 2D and 3D finally together. Thank you, the journey begins. This is gonna suck. Oh, you said it. Sub-Zero, what are you doing here? Yeah, let's just get on with it. They must not win Mortal Kombat. Um, okay, we see the logo, guys. You're really gonna hold on it this long, huh? Well, I guess it is the most impressive animation in this whole thing, so yeah, why not? So after seeing some of the best water effects ever to be produced by the Sega Saturn, we get properly introduced to the 2D animation, which in addition to being animation that looks like it get blammed off new grounds, it's got a lovely bevel effect on it, giving it some shadows that make absolutely no fucking sense. Sense. I think I'm gonna hurl a seasick, huh? What gave it away? Was it my green skin tone and my delightful odor? Sorry, Cage, they're not advanced enough to actually change skin tones, so no, you're not any greener, and you wear your sunglasses at night. Damn it! I'm Johnny Cage! Do either of you know where I can find the captain? Hi, I'm Sonia. I like to stare off blankly in the distance while talking to people. The film actor? I don't watch movies. Not even mine? They're really good. They've got things like cuts that make people completely change position. Glad that doesn't happen in real cartoon life. This hold is off limits. No one may enter. Oh shit, it's my older brother Sub-Zero. That guy is such an ass. You're both called Sub-Zero? Doesn't that get confusing? Oh, not really. <clears throat> because he died and we started calling him Noob Sabart. You call him the last names of the Mortal Kombat creators backwards? Uh, yes, that's the joke, thanks. Yeah, well it still makes it a stupid name for your brother to choose. Then he gives Sonya the cold shoulder! be of assistance, Lieutenant Blade. I am Shang Tsung. Wait, isn't that like the same voice Sub-Zero just used? This hold is off limits. You think you are pursuing a dangerous criminal? And the same voice of Robotnik. Taste that polluted air, Snively. Soon, all of Robotropolis will have the same fragrance. And a Nagaduck. <sighs> My beautiful St. Canard. Smell those noxious fumes. Yay! It's Jim Cummings! So this is supposed to be a tie-in for the movie, right? You know where they already had Shang Tsung Young at this point? You know, including for this very boat scene that the film has in it already? <laughs> Sorry. You have been chosen to participate in our great tournament, just like these gentlemen. Chosen? 
by who? Well, that sure was random, Shang Tsung, but oh well, I don't care at all that you have special jerk powers. Chosen by who? So while Sung and Sub-Zero go to chill through the automatic wooden door... Guess he gave you the cold shoulder. <laughs> oh, nice! You made the same bad joke as Johnny Cage! You should feel really bad. <laughs> yeah, well, at least I didn't wait for a whole conversation with Shang Tsung and getting raised in the air and dropped by him to make the jokes that everyone will forget what I'm referring to by then. These three are most dangerous adversaries. Eh, we can't hope to fight that perfectly level dopey walking animation. Scorpion, to secure a place in the hallowed victory hall of your clan, you must kill Sub-Zero yourself. If the three warriors from Earth kill Sub-Zero, you'll never have your chance. Help Sub-Zero now, then you can personally kill him later. Or why don't I just kill him right now? That'd be a lot easier. Get out of here, Shang Tsung. Why are either my older brother, the ass Sub-Zero, or Scorpion listening to Shang Tsung? They're just participants in that tournament. They didn't work for him. Yeah, in the movie, at least they are supposed to be under Shang Tsung's power, even if that is one of the parts I hated in the film the most, because you know who actually wanted to see Sub-Zero and Scorpion be actual characters? They were never popular. But here it's just like, hey, you should do what I say because uh, I'm old. We were thinking maybe we should hear more of those fairy tales you were talking about. Fairy tales? There's one right behind you. Eh, you assholes! You dare call me a fairy tale? I'm gonna launch my top notch annoyance attacks that can send you into boxes with the strangest physics ever. What kind of move was that, Liu Kang? You almost jumped backwards into the freeze blast. <sighs> no wonder you're such a wiener. What? Yes, guys, keep doing that slow motion blur thing. It really hides how lazy your animators were. <laughs> or not. Not at all. Get over here! Yeah, I've got a spear, but I only wrap it around you because I don't want to seriously hurt you or anything. And, you know, there'd be blood and stuff if I stuck you with it. I don't want to do that. I mean, what is this, Mortal Kombat? Well, he is the God of Thunder, the protector of the realm of Earth. Oh, like that makes any sense. Hey, who cares if it makes any sense? You should care, Johnny Cage. Wow, Raiden, what an asshole. Yeah, geez, he's not usually that bad, but you should care, Phelous! Silence! Uh, no one was talking after you zapped Johnny Cage there, Raiden. Anyway, he reads the Sungster the Riot Act about being a poo-poo head, so he decides he'll reuse the automated wooden door animation with Sub-Zero. So Raiden tells them all the story that anyone who's played a Mortal Kombat game already knows, that they're keeping Earthrealm from merging with Outworld by winning the Mortal Kombat tournament. Uh, I bet most people that play the games don't know a thing about the story of it, Phyllis. Not everyone looked into it to make a stupid comedy series based on it. <laughs> yeah, right. Shang easily defeated the students of the Temple Master. In the final bout, he met the Temple Master himself. Back when he was his younger Mortal Kombat 2 model, and hadn't quite gotten the grasp of closing his mouth all the way. Uh-huh, that's right. They think they can animate these 3D turns well enough to have a fight. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna go about as well as expected. It's awful! Yay! But even they realized they couldn't pull off talking with this crap, so during these 3D fights we just get screams and grunts while maybe Raiden narrates. And that sad day also revealed the secret of Shang's terrible power. His ability to remove the texture off crappy 3D models. Whether you like it or not, Johnny Cage, and you, Sonya Blade, and you, Liu Kang, have each been chosen to participate in this great tournament. No one said anything, Raiden. Stop being such an asshat. Yeah, well, whether you like it or not, Sub-Zero, this video will continue. Oh, okay then.
Oh, wow, these fog effects are up to par, huh? Just like that single line horizon transition on the water. Looking good. Wow, Sonia, where'd you get that hair gel? Impressive. Ah, ah, ah! Oh, Mortal Kombat, the journey begins. Is there anything you can do? Oh, the whole slew of generic character models made it for the tournament, at least. I remember a lot of those guys, especially the ones that don't move. Oh, come on, we're pretty cool. Look at us. Oh, I've got glasses. I'd like to move one day, though. Oh. Yeah, once again, I'm the best looking guy here. And I'm taking you down, I'm taking you out, I'm taking you out, and I'm taking you out for dinner. Oh, dear. Hey, check it out. Shang Tsung's got automated wooden doors everywhere. I am Shang Tsung. And I have with me Goro. The master of somehow blocking sunlight while in a building. Make yourselves at home on our little island. Enjoy an evening of peace and tranquility. It may be your last. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be his last, right guys? I'm smarter than him. <laughs> Check this out. He's being shadowed by the other one who fought us on the boat. Sub-Zero is from the clan of the Lin Q. Lin Q? Damn it, Rain, it's Lin Kuei, you know that! He is Scorpion from another ninja clan of Outworld. Oh yeah, that's not correct either. You're just full of misinformation, aren't you, Raiden? Let me check my pilot. I have the pilot! Oh well, give Raiden a break. His memory doesn't seem to be the best these days, as when he recounts Sub-Zero and Scorpion's past that he wasn't there for, he seems to forget the flaps on their uniforms and instead remembers them wearing colored diapers. Watch out for Sub-Zero. Hey, that's me they're talking about! Oh well, bye! I'll leave you to your awfully animated walk scene, which you'll reuse shots from repeatedly! Hold it. You keep saying Shang Tsung is a demon sorcerer? A very powerful one. Oh shit, I didn't realize he was a powerful one. I thought I just liked to use his powers to annoy. He can be destroyed. Oh, sorry about that. My head likes to spaz out randomly. See, there it goes again. It's the damnedest thing. No one dreamed. That 2D and 3D could be combined so poorly, but we showed them. Now the tournament has become a desperate struggle for the survival of the realm of Earth. Dun dun dun. Mortal Kombat doesn't mean death, but life. Dun dun dun. That's the guy I saw, Goro. Guys, it's really rude to talk about me like I'm not just standing here right in front of you. Goro commands the legions of nomads. Okay, fine. If you're gonna be like that, I'm just gonna leave. 500 years ago, Shang Tsung had won nine victories in a row. Only one champion could stop it, Kung Lao. My ancestor. Oh, Kung Lao is Liu Kang's ancestor, in addition to being, well, Kung Lao's ancestor. You're really taking this as a confirmation of any facts on Mortal Kombat? Ah, uh, good point. In Shokan, there is only one law to pay tribute to the king. Durok, Goro's older brother. Ah, yes, Durok. Don't bring Durok up around Goro. He doesn't like to talk about him. To him, it's almost like Durok never existed. Durok decided to offer his father the rarest, most precious object in the underground kingdom of Shokan. Goro decided he wanted to pay tribute with the egg as well. So it was tough shit, right? He had to go get his own egg? Nope, he was allowed to kill his brother and give the egg to his dad instead. And that's the story of how the stupid Shokan have nearly driven themselves to extinction. Well, let me tell you about me and Kung Lao. I'm gonna beat his ass and I'll do it right now. Ah, cha 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 Well, I'll beat him so bad that I'll wanna be dead. I'll take him to my pit where he'll have to take some Aspirin. Goro killed him? People die in Mortal Kombat? Oh, I was not ready for this. Attack. Once the tournament begins, I can no longer help you. God of useless. 
So, like always, Raiden abandons everyone because he's an ass, leaving them to fight a bunch of Terracotta, but how can they possibly handle such blurry jump cutty animation? With their own jump cutty animation! Seriously, what the hell was that, Cage? Oh shit, just got real though! Cage took his sunglasses off! How much you want to bet those animators won't be able to keep track of that? Nah, I don't think they'd screw that up. So the most amazing constant reuse of animation erupts, and of course, Cage's sunglasses constantly appear on and off. <laughs> and Liu Kang does his stupid ass jump backwards again, and Sonya, um, does something so blurry we can't even make it out? And Johnny Cage backs up how many times? <laughs> Oh good, it's dark and blurry this time, now it doesn't look silly at all! And then he does this kick how many times? This is where you fall down. In all my movies, the bad guys sneak up behind me. Maybe if we ignore them, they'll go away. Then again... Maybe not. Where do you get these guys? Eventually, Raiden gets sick of the reused fighting animations because he remembers he exists. Shang Song. Once again, you defy the sacred rules of the tournament. That's why I let it happen for a while and didn't help first, because it was against the rules. Prepare yourselves. Let mortal combat begin. It has begun. Prepare yourselves for Mortal Kombat, the movie. Of course! Leave it on a cliffhanger because it'll be resolved in the movie! Remember in the movie when they have to fight off a bunch of Terracotta and Shang Tsung is old? Oh wait, that doesn't happen. And after we've watched this whatever it was, it's apparently time to meet the characters we supposedly just met and learn important info on them like their age and weight. Well, that's not true, and that's Mortal Kombat The Journey Begins. How does it hold up? Perfectly! Its stunning animation will often leave your jaw hanging all the way to the ground, and you won't believe your eyes when you see the flawless victory they performed on the integration of its 2D and 3D animation. If you are planning to watch the Mortal Kombat movie, you need to watch this beforehand. It's a must. Oh, you ass! It's time to... Finally annoy you! Oh, you Sub Zero! I don't like this movie, he doesn't look too friendly, this monster seems so fake, my nerves are gonna break. Failures don't let me down, you need to be around. Grab the running one up and blast that single new one. I see this movie, I look shitty. Keep watching for hidden codes to Mortal Kombat 3. Yes, I've been waiting 17 years for this code. Well, that was unexpected.